Hello and welcome back to some more Broken Ages. This is part number one of Vela's story. So I'm going to try and get up eventually. She's still sleeping on a tree. This world looks amazing. Though. Look at that little wing mule in the background. Let's get up. Come on, Vela. Wake up. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Cupcakes? Is that what she does then? It's like a cupcake maker. Or did you get eaten by a bear? Eaten by a bear? What's she going about? Is that my sister then? Where's she gone? Oh no, she is. <laughs> there you are. I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No. I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right. Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on. There's a race. Run, 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 run. There we go. <laughs> Hello? What the hell? Okay. Can't see much. Surprise! Whoa. There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first. All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <laughs> I want just a bloody cake. Why should I find the cake? Uh, not the cake, sorry, the knife for the cake. Maybe here? the knife is under this towel. <laughs> no, it's just more cupcakes. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Some pads. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Better wash your hands, mate, seriously. Well, I've got, what's that, nope, a cloth? Not there. Where the hell is this poxy knife? It's with this old man. Uh, do you know where mom's knife is? Did I click on him or did I click Grandpa cells? Beastender? <laughs> do you know where mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. Why is he not? What? Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <laughs> <laughs> what do we say under his breath? <laughs> Shut up, wife. Um, why, why do you hate, hate it? the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. A travesty. Um, we stopped being warriors. Why'd we stop being warriors? Lavina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. He doesn't like. He's a very um strong-willed man who likes to do battle, I guess. Um, want a cupcake? Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. No. Oh. You did what? Oh, nothing. He hid it. Is it underneath his stool or something? Grandpa Beastender? Huh? Um. I'd better mm. go find that knife. I don't really like to push him over. We'll take his walking stick. We'll take his walking stick. Grandpa Beastender? Oh. Huh? I think he's walking to it so he falls over. It's probably underneath him or something. Um, I'd better go continue. find that knife. <laughs> nope. I like his eye patch, that's quite cool. Well, how can I gonna find a knife? Um, where will it be? Where would I? I don't know where it would be. I gotta speak to my mother, I guess. I remember I had it. Mom, oh, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <sighs> Did I leave it in the kitchen? Mm. No. I was going to speak to my uh, 
My nana or grandmother. Lavina? What is it, girl? Or some random person, I'm not sure who she is. Um, any idea where mom's knife is? Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already. Oh. Chill out. <sighs> so why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! <clears throat> Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. Man, this is a weird scenario. This weird random beast thing they've got to try and feed or something. Um... My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. He doesn't. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. <laughs> Can I ask you it. about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? Um, have you organized, um... How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. I'm sure you're very young. Um, not. So that's not actually my grandmother. It's like some random person. It's a friend of the family, I guess. Um... Where, Where they do come creatures from? like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. Excuse me? Um, yeah, let's try uh... What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> yeah. Um... How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Yeah, that's really weird. Um, why was I chosen? Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Beats me. Attacks other towns? Mob Chathra attacks other towns? Of course. Maryloft just had their maiden's feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the maiden's feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Jesus Christ. More bit of right. It's fine. Where the hell is this knife? Seriously. Um. Hmm. Can't make out. What's this? I think that's supposed to look like Mog Chathra. Oh, okay. My handsome date to the prom. Great. <laughs> Can't speak to my father. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do. But your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Yeah. Where would I? Know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Alright, so we're going to try and find this flipping knife. Where's this knife? Um, it's got to be here somewhere. Something to do with the grandpa, I'm sure of it. Um, Frustrating. Let's go over here and speak to my mother. Mother, where's the mom? knife? I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender. I've seen that already, so he, just, he doesn't say much to the mother. That must be to grandpa again. It's definitely somewhere out here. Grandpa beast ender? <laughs> um, want a cupcake? Hey Gramps, want a cupcake? <clears throat> yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> Why the hell is this knife? Grandpa Beast. I cannot work out where the hell this knife is. I better go. This uh... stupid knife is Don't touch the red ones. Mom made those just for me. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six. 
Six. That explains a lot. I've already had six. Oh, I've got a cupcake. Okay. If I have to go over to the grandpa and then give him the cupcake, nope. we can Not sort of there. sneak one in. Um, cupcake for you. I'm too nervous to eat. Where Not would you? I... The, the grandpa, for Christ's sake. Give it to the grandpa. For me? Yeah, perhaps if we, um, let's split it. Let's share it. it. With you? Deal. Whoa, one second. That's a knife. There's the knife. <laughs> what the hell? On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. I've got the knife though. Now, where did I put that thing? What, what? thing? No, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Yeah, suspicious, you little idiot. I, <laughs> I actually quite like the grandpa. It's that weird woman now I don't like. The one with a bread in her head. She's a bit of a... She wants me to go inside her stomach Definitely for some can't. ritual thing. I mean, seriously, what the... Freaking Jesus, seriously. We've got the knife anyway, so... Mom, I was just wondering... No, don't mean to give her the knife. Here's the knife. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. What? I use the knife on them to be honest. Jesus. Majestic to behold, awe inspiring, powerful, mysterious. But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast! Why do they want the sure kid to be here? I know he'll pick you! This can't be right. No, it's not! Right. Well, what do I do here? Ah, you should be in the center. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. Hey, I've got a plan. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Sorry. <laughs> what if there is nothing without a little heat? Still to her. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Oh, man. Fun size. Um, hey, we break out of here. Hey. What do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. Great. We're, we're literally gonna be eating this. Ugh. Uh, you're making me hungry. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mom Chata hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. <laughs> Want to trade something for a bite? Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Um, need a towel? Maybe. Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. Oh, um, whoa! Mother, I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again. How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. <laughs> she loves Never a drumstick. Mind. Um, trade something for a bite of that drumstick. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. Never mind. Just wanted. Right, let's talk to this lady over here. Hey, Delicious. does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless. I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me. Sheesh. Man, they're a bunch of morons, seriously. How can I be so happy about giving up their life? Oh god. At least they actually look upset now, finally. Jesus Christ. 
eat my daughter. She's so yummy. I'll be so proud. He's dribbling. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chopra, over here. No, this way, Great One. I am the one you've come so far to find. Over here. I am in blue for you. See, he's drawn to the flame like a giant moth. What? No way. He's coming my direction. Please. Don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. Oh, yes, take your time, look over all your options, and then, after some careful consideration... This is really not fun anymore. Um, what can we do here? Up for grabs, go for it, bitch. Yeah, he is ugly. That was really something to annoy me. Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too thin. This horrible thing, you got a deal. Yeah. Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. What? Oh, now I've got a wet corset. Poor girl. Oh no! This is eating everyone! Oh, no! It's supposed to take that two, is it? Been me. Can I borrow that, that bottle one more time? Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it! Keep Thanks. it. Thanks. Yes. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> she's, she's gone. No, I took the ball from her and then she... Run. Okay, um... That's his bottle sounds to do with her then. Give her the bottle. How about something bubbly to wash it down? Oh, no, I'm made of wet! She said. Look at me! I'm soaked! Oh, God. Is he looking? Quick, quick! Help me put myself back together! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, oh, God. Uh, what do I do? Can I give it a corset? How about the slimming corset? Why would I want to hide my best asset? She doesn't shot. like that. He'll be looking for it. Yeah, so, um, for a cloth. Give her a cloth. I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? Got a towel. Enjoy it. Oh, no, drumstick. Oh, <laughs> how long have you been standing? Oh no, she. What? I thought you were supposed to take this thing, was I supposed to take one? Are you part vulture or something? Uh, How can you think about food at a time like this? I think he is not. Um, can I help that like, cut it out? No. I don't want to stab that bird. <laughs> I still need her to get out of here. Uh, yeah. And also, I'd lose my knife. Exactly. Uh. For a course on the bird. Gotcha. Yes! Oh my god! That's yes! Flap those freedom! Blue wings. Use the knife. Just a little bit harder! I don't want to stab that bird. No, I don't I stab the bird. I still need her to get out of here. I'm trying to stab the corset. Stab this. Hey, there we go. Yes, it does work. You can have the bottom half. The freedom! Get back here, you crazy brat! That's my girl! She's doomed us all! Mog Chocolate's fury will soon rain down upon our village! We've, we've done it, we got to freedom! Awesome.
What? Where'd the bird go? It just vanished. Angry, angry birdie. Try to protect his golden egg. He's got a funny Dad, face, man. Jesse brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. <laughs> that was slightly awkward. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Smack it a like, leave a comment below. We're back for some more Broken Age very, very soon. Bye bye.